Today I'm going to show you how to define a member custom property on ICQ. The detailed information on member custom properties, as well as properties in general, are available on our documentation. Find the links on the description below. The custom property I'm going to show today is the member color property. That means that I can have specific colors for specific members defined by default and don't need to redefine those whenever creating each time a new report. Let's take the example of Swiss cantons. I want that on every report I have those specific colors for the cantons, Ticino and Turquoise, and Zurich and Dark Green, for instance. This is especially useful if you have a specific branding in your company and have a very specific color code for the products you are selling. For our example, as there are 26 cantons in Switzerland, imagine if you had to define these colors each and every time you want to create a new report. Laborious, time-consuming, and let's face it, very boring and not at all efficient. So that's why you define members' colors properties. This definition is done when you are creating your data model. Let's therefore go to the builder and take a look at our schema. First thing you need to have is the color data for your members. On this data table, we have the Canton's name abbreviations and our color hex codes. Now, when you create the dimension with your members to color, in our case, the Canton's name abbreviations, add on the levels, the custom property, and select the according column. Make sure to have the exact same spelling as the property name found on our documentation pages, or else it won't work. And that is actually it. When your schema is ready, deploy it, and you can directly use the color property on the reporting. Let's create a new chart so you can see what I mean. Take a serial chart, Add a measure and our Canton name abbreviations that contain the color property on the rows. Let me turn that into a bar chart so it's more readable. Now, on the color mode, select MDX and on Access Property, select Rows as it's where we've added the members containing the color properties. And there you go. You can verify that in fact Ticino is in turquoise and Zurich in dark green. Of course, you can still define other color modes for these members. For instance, a palette for cell values. But still, if you are looking to use specific colors for specific members of your data, the member custom color property is definitely something that will be extremely useful on the long run. Thanks for watching, enjoy, and see you next time.